Well, I think the current congestion has caused frustration and concern amongst residents and the business community. We'd certainly echo the call to put a moratorium on, on works so that if we could align that with 16th of November, which is whenever the Christmas lights go on, uh, it just means we'd have slightly freer flowing traffic for, for that peak period for Christmas. However, this requires long-term solutions. So it's not about facilitating the car and making the car uh, have easier access to Belfast. It's about facilitating people and moving people around our city. And we're not gonna do that by building more and more car lanes. So we need to think about other solutions. This is a great example of one of the solutions we've got. There's a capacity for 20 million people to come through this station. We've got eight railway lines, we've got 26 bus stands, and this is the future of transport in our city. But outside of this, we need to have more investment in the North-South Glider. We've all seen the success of the West-East Glider. The North-South Glider will really take a lot of cars off the street, uh, 105 people for every glider. In fact, if you put a glider against the amount of people in cars, the cars would stretch for around a kilometre just to accommodate that one glider. So getting more gliders into Belfast through that 150 million pound investment in the North-South Glider would be key. But on top of that, we also need to make it a more pleasant experience for people to walk around the city. Walking is a major mode of transport. We don't often think about that as a mode of transport, but that is, the, that is a, 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 a key mode of transport. And certainly if you're having a journey of less than two miles, if you're able to, I'm not applying this to disabled people or people with mobility issues, but if you're able to, why don't you just walk instead of take the car? And again, that will take more cars off the street. But what we need to do is make that walking experience a pleasant experience. So there is a programme called Streets Ahead, and that originally had earmarked £30 million for the Linen Quarter and £30 million for the Cathedral Quarter. So let's see what we can do to bring that public realm programme ahead and make a pleasant walking experience. The City Council had this idea that there'd be a civic spine in Belfast running from Ulster University to Queen's University and that civic spine would be a walking spine, it would be a cycling spine, it would be a way for people to get around the city without using a car. So more investment in that proposal I think would be a very timely. And finally we need to think about cycling as well. So there was a plan a few years ago to have hundred million pounds radial cycling infrastructure routes with eight routes going in and out of the city and there was no money available. We've just had a 1.5 billion pound settlement for Stormont so let's invest some of that money in the cycling infrastructure. Again it's helping people move around cities more easily and it's taking cars off the street. One of the things that we're working on is late night transport. Delighted that the Christmas service will be returning on the 29th or 30th of November, and that will be um, on Friday and Saturday nights. So if you're coming in um, to, to socialize, you can get home much later through one of those routes. We want to continue that service so that it's all year round. That's one of our key objectives. Likewise, we're doing uh, a lot of initiatives around making the area feel safer, looking at lighting, looking at public realm, looking, working with the police in different agencies. Belfast is a safe city and uh, we just want that message to, to go across. But we do appreciate sometimes perceptions of safety are, are different from the actual safety statistics. So we want people to feel safe as well. So a lot of work that we need to do around making sure the, the city's bright, welcoming, um, clean, and, and feel safe as well as, as, as being safe. And likewise, we've got lots of great promotions that we uh, do throughout, uh, throughout the year, but particularly around Christmas. We've just had Restaurant Week. We've got React Festival for a more sustainable Belfast coming, coming in, which will, will draw people into the city. Um, we've got a whole Christmas animation um, planned with the light switch on on the 16th of November. So there's lots to look forward to, lots of great shops, social experiences, uh, restaurants and bars.